Have you ever felt the spark of a new project or hobby? All you can think of is how your life will improve and how proud you will be to complete it. With so much excitement, you begin. But after a few weeks in, the results don't match your expectations and the activity loses its charm. After hopping from hobby to hobby, I've experienced the lack of inspiration and desire to keep working towards mastery. When I started this channel, I aimed to avoid walking down the same path. So I chose to be proactive and I hope to help you with what I learned and implemented. Think about how many decisions you have to make. What should I start with? How long should I do it for? What if I'm going down the wrong path? This is where transitioning from result based goals to action based goals comes in to save the day. By creating a goal around taking that action, you allow yourself to have a clear path to success. Since starting this channel, my goal has been to reach and help 1,000 people that would become my subscribers. Early on, it was easy to create videos without worrying, but I realized I wasn't reaching enough people. What I was doing wasn't working, and instead of creating videos, I overanalyzed every action I took to hopefully create the perfect video. Great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. If I spent one to two hours a day working on a video, over time I would achieve my goal. You can apply this change to many of your goals. Think, what action do I have to take today or every week to reach my broader goal? My goal with every video is to help you walk away with the most growth and momentum as possible. To achieve this, I've created a free follow along template, either a print off or notion download, whatever works the best for you. This includes a step by step for each section along with some extra information that has helped me in my experience. You can find it all linked below. Knowing what you want to do won't make you do it though. That's why you need to craft a motivating vision of yourself. And don't worry, it's not the classic, imagine yourself completing your goal in the most detail possible. I'm not going to ask you to become Picasso. While this advice has worked for many, it never stuck on for me. I knew what I wanted to achieve, but this visualization wouldn't keep me driven. In this time of struggle, I came across an episode of Andrew Humanman's podcast and found a strategy that may be the answer that you've been looking for. Take a second to imagine what your life would be like if you didn't achieve your goal. How you would feel if you started it and didn't follow through to the end. With how negative this visualizing is, you may believe that it would drive you away from success. But Positive visualization is not going to be an effective strategy to motivate you. Rather, if you are not feeling motivated and think about how much more lousy you will feel when you do not achieve that goal at the end of 12 weeks. For growth, repetition is essential. A bed of flowers can't flourish if you plant it and neglect to water it. Not watering your plants would result in a waste of time, money, and a chance to learn. But say you kept watering regardless of change, then you would have learned how to tend to these plants and would have something to be proud of. Even if you feel like your time is being wasted, you are still going to leave your future self with new and valuable skills and experience. The reward may not seem obvious, but the action itself provides a reward. Even if I don't see results posting videos, I am still learning how to write, edit, and market my value into the world. With any goal you strive to achieve, you are rewarded with lessons along that path. See this learning as progress and reward yourself. For the longest time, I thought that giving myself a reward would kill discipline. That being productive meant doing the action repetitively with the only reward being mastering it at the end. From experience, this mindset has not worked. By taking advantage of reward, we reinforce taking the action in our brain. When you play a game, you are being rewarded through the feeling of progress when you collect a resource or increase your score. When you go to a coffee shop, you experience the reward of your favorite drink. When you scroll social media, you are rewarded with entertainment and the feeling of connection. Every habit you hold has some reward attached to it. 
If you attach a similar reward to the action you want to take, then you will establish a habit. Like I said earlier, I created a completely free follow along sheet that you can download in the description. It takes you through everything I discussed in this video with greater depth. Along with that, I have included a bit of extra information, so go check it out. With everything I've given you in this video, take some time to reflect and then begin to take the steps towards accomplishing what you know you are capable of.